Hello! In today's lesson, you will learn the difference between lines of latitude and longitude and how to use them to find absolute location. While watching the video, take notes on the note sheet provided. During the video, you will see check marks anytime there is an important fact or helpful tip that you should write down. You may pause and rewind if you need to when it's time to write something down. I will be checking your notes at the beginning of class tomorrow. Let's begin with the basics. What is absolute location? Absolute location is the exact spot on Earth of a geographic feature. Usually, this location is given using latitude and longitude coordinates. What are lines of latitude and longitude? Latitude and longitude are imaginary lines that form a grid over the world. This imaginary grid helps people pinpoint exact locations on Earth, called absolute location. For example, Madison, Wisconsin is located at 43 degrees north latitude by 89 and a half degrees west longitude. Now let's look at each set of lines separately. We will start with latitude. Lines of latitude run horizontally all the way around the world. You will notice these lines are all parallel which means they never cross one another. Therefore, latitude lines are also called parallels. Lines of latitude measure a location's direction and distance from the equator. A location's distance from the equator is measured in degrees. The equator is the zero degree line and divides the Earth into northern and southern hemispheres. There is 90 degrees of distance, both north and south of the equator. For example, the North Pole is 90 degrees north of the equator, while the South Pole is 90 degrees south of the equator. All locations on Earth will fall somewhere between 0 and 90 degrees latitude. Finally, an easy way to remember which lines are latitude lines is to think of a ladder. Lines of latitude are like steps of a ladder going up and down the earth. Let's review the notes you should have written so far. First, our definition of latitude. Latitude lines are imaginary lines that run horizontally around the world. They are also called parallels. The equator is the zero degree line of latitude that divides the earth into northern and southern hemispheres. And finally, Latitude lines are measured by their distance and direction from the equator. An example of how latitude coordinates are given is 20 degrees north latitude. Now let's define longitude. Longitude lines are vertical lines on the map. These lines are also called meridians. They do not go all the way around the world, but instead start at the North Pole and run to the South Pole. Longitude lines divide the Earth much like the segments of a pumpkin or an orange. The zero degree line of longitude is called the prime meridian. To find the longitude of a location, you must measure the distance and direction from the prime meridian. The prime meridian divides the world into western and eastern hemispheres. Opposite of the prime meridian on the globe is the 180 degree line. Remember, lines of longitude do not go all the way around the world, like latitude does. So on the opposite side of the prime meridian, we have what is called the international date line, exactly 180 degrees around the globe. Again, let's review our longitude notes. Longitude lines are imaginary lines that run from the North Pole to the South Pole. The prime meridian is a zero degree line of longitude that divides the Earth into eastern and western hemispheres. And lines of longitude are measured by their distance and directions from the prime meridian. An example of a longitude coordinate would be 120 degrees east longitude. Now let's practice using latitude and longitude to find absolute location. First, I want to point out that on a larger map, such as this world map, you do not have a line for every degree. For example, when we look at our latitude lines, we have the equator at zero degrees, and then 30 
60, and 90 degrees north and south of the equator. Therefore, if we had a coordinate of 15 degrees north, we would have to estimate its location somewhere between 0 and 30 degrees. This would make it difficult to find the actual absolute location. When finding a location in the United States, it's best to use a map that is focused just on the United States and not a large world map like this one. For practice, we are first going to take the coordinates of a location and try and find out what city is located there. When doing this, I like to place a finger on the edges of the page where the coordinates are and follow the lines until they meet. I will be using a red pen on the screen to show this. Let's start out by finding which city is located at 30 degrees north latitude by 90 degrees west longitude. First, put your finger on 30 degrees north. You will notice that there are other numbers written on the side of the page. Some of these are latitude and some are longitude. Make sure you are finding the correct number that goes along with the horizontal latitude line. Next, find 90 degrees west. Longitude lines are usually at the top or the bottom of the page. Now follow both fingers on the lines until they cross. By following these coordinates, we have landed in the city of New Orleans. Let's finish by finding the coordinates of a city. We'll be using Berlin, Germany. To find the coordinates of a city, you'll need to follow the latitude and longitude lines to the edges of the page. On a map like this one, you need to make sure that you curve with the lines so you get as accurate of a number as possible. We'll first find our latitude lines. Put your finger on Berlin, Germany and trace it to the left hand side of the page where we have our latitude numbers written. You should come up with a number of 52 degrees north latitude. Again, because there are other numbers written on the left hand side of the page, you need to make sure you're looking at the latitude lines. Now let's find the longitude. This time we will follow the longitude lines to the top of the page. As you can see, we are just to the east of 10 degrees east. Therefore, we can estimate that we are at 13 degrees east longitude. This means that our coordinates for Berlin, Germany are 52 degrees north latitude by 13 degrees east longitude. This concludes our tutorial on finding absolute location. Please bring any questions you have to class tomorrow. I will be checking your notes at the beginning of class and then we'll be practicing your skill of finding latitude and longitude.